Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This pick a card reading will be uh, messages for December 1st through the 14th, okay? So as usual, we have two piles to pick from. Today's piles will be this, okay? First pile will be Amira's Love Oracle, and the second pile will be the Kipper deck. So go ahead and take a few minutes to choose which one you're most um, drawn to. If you chose pile one, you are the Amira's Love Oracle deck. Okay, so I felt like we needed to change the scenery. So we're out here on my balcony today. Um, excuse any background noise that you may hear from the traffic or anything like that. I just felt it was time to come outside, even though it's a little bit chilly, but you know, I hope you guys like the little change, the little change here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. day morning or night whenever you're seeing this okay spirit um, calling in all of my angels spirit guides ancestors and archangels offer my highest good and highest light to please provide me with the most accurate and clearest messages for pile one when it comes to um, December messages for um, the first through the 14th of December please and thank you Okay, I feel like you may get in some type of um, disagreement with someone who is trying to um, pin some type of control over you or something like that. <laughs> I also feel like you're going to be dealing with somebody around you that may be a little bit jealous of you. Um, I kind of feel like you're in, t in some type of um, leadership position or um, you just have people around you that uh, respect you and what you have to say here. And there's somebody around you who does not like that. For some of you guys, this is a mom. I don't know why. I just heard mom. Okay. This may be someone who... Um, who projects onto you in some type of way, uh, someone who lacks some type of belief within themselves and what they can do, or they can just um, lack faith in the things that you do. Um, three, three, three on the timer when I say that. I feel like this is them um, projecting their insecurities though onto you. Someone is not happy within their own life or what they got start or yeah, someone's not happy within their own life here or what they have going on. So they're kind of projecting it on over onto you or something like that. I feel like somebody is in low key secret competition. If this is not your mom, this is someone who is a mother figure or something like that. Someone smokes weed, too. Someone is probably not doing well in their financial um, area and their life. And you could be doing a lot better than them. Or this is, like I said, somebody has some type of insecurity here. Um, or some type of poverty mindset. And I feel like you don't. You're someone who, um, yeah, you're coming out as the empress, baby. Or like I said, this could be a mom, a mother figure here. 
but I feel like um, you have a different perspective. I feel like you have this abundant perspective about yourself, a very abundant mindset. And someone doesn't like that, or it's not that they don't like that. I feel like they're envious of it because they don't have the same thing, or they feel like it's 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 hard for them to achieve that type of mindset here. Um, Taurus is here, and Libra is here. Um, Capricorn is here. Aries is here as well. But yeah, some type, somebody has some type of imbalance when it comes to the way that they think here. Sagittarius and Aquarius is here too, if I didn't say that. Someone here makes bad choices. Um, um, they're having a hard time trying to balance things that they got going on in their life here with this Two of Pentacles. Someone here feels overwhelmed, okay? okay. Tell me more about Pile 1 and what's um, to come for December 1st to the 14th. doesn't see how you make things work out for yourself someone doesn't see uh, how you're the type to um, be able to like I'm hearing like change your stripes you're um, able to adapt to anything that um, that causes a change in your life if there's something that I feel like you move with the current it's definitely giving like six of swords energy here. Anything that happens, you're able to go with the flow and um, adapt to the change here. And somebody doesn't see how you do that. And I feel like they're very envious of that here. And I feel like this is something that you're going to come into knowledge of. Somebody's going to let you know in the way that they move. Not necessarily through their words, but through their actions. for pile one for December 1st to the 14th. Yeah, like you had somebody stressed out. <laughs> With this light of swords, you got somebody stressed out. They just don't know how you do it. <clears throat> this is somebody who wants to know how you do it because they have like, some type of hopelessness within themselves and they want to figure out how you move. They could be trying to gather some type of information for you in some type of way. I'm kind of feeling like a page of source energy. They may try to um, speak to you and try to pick your brain a little bit to see how you move so they can try to adapt it in some type of way. somebody's not happy with their life or or something like that yeah somebody feels like they're they're failing in life especially when it comes to money or stability or something like that i'm hearing joe i want to know i want to know Somebody want to know how you move. Because somebody is like, somebody has like a very lack of planning. Um, this is somebody who, uh, they have personal goals, but they don't know how to attack their personal goals here. Um, and this is someone who fears um, like change in a way here. But they see you doing it with the King of Pentacles. They see that you're stable. They see that you know what you're doing. Um, you're somebody who has leadership um, qualities, like I said in the beginning when the emperor came out. And somebody is, um, doesn't have that with the mag magician in, um, in reverse. You're the type of person who, uh, whatever you have, you know how to work with it. Okay? Like, 
it's giving um i can make a dinner for a whole family with just 15 dollars. like you know how to turn whatever you got into gold and it can just be the littlest shit and they'd be like damn how the fuck you do that shit with the nine of pentacles like you're highly abundant and they think highly of you with this higher fit but they're also kind of envious and and low-key um a little jealous because they don't see they don't they don't understand how you're doing this and they want to learn from you here's the page of pentacles here like they see the type of skill that you have and they want to they want that anything else for a power one when it comes to uh What's to come December 1st through the 14th? I feel like you might actually try to teach this person because I feel like you're very kind and um, you want everybody to win and stuff like that. But I feel like this person is going to try to do it out of like a sneaky ass way though. Yeah, the high priestess. You you have the secret knowledge and they just want to know. Like, please tell me. <laughs> they want your knowledge. But I feel like you will be open to, um, to telling these people. Yeah, with the seven of wands. I don't feel like you're a gatekeeper. I feel like you're actually um, going to be able to tell this person... Um, how you do what you do but it's up to them to actually apply whatever it is that you're trying to tell them here and for some of you guys i feel like you actually have told this person or whoever this may be and they didn't apply it someone could have said that's too much or da -da -da -da, or something like on it to the point they just like uh i don't know like they were giving up before they even tried or something like that We're going to keep this short. We're not going to do this too long. Yeah, the chariot here. With the queen of swords. You're definitely someone who doesn't judge. Like I said, like, you're not a gatekeeper. You're not somebody that's judging somebody um, and how they decide to move in life and what they got going on. You kind of just keep to yourself. Um, everything is black and white for you um, and straight to the point. Like, you know where you're going, you know how to get there, and you always um, <clears throat> have the courage to act out on whatever it is that you want to do here. You're, you're disciplined, okay? Um, you're very direct as well when it comes to telling this person what they're supposed to do. But I feel like um, either they're making very slow movement or they're not making any movement or not at all. I feel like some of you guys that I've already explained to this person, I feel like they're trying to come back and see uh, what what other information they can get from you. And I feel like you're kind of low-key tired of trying to tell this person. Like, I've already told you already. <clears throat> Yeah, you already told you already gave this person the keys to make the change for themselves but somebody doesn't have the strength to do it and i feel like you're tired of sharing with this person because they're not they're not doing what they're supposed to do they're saying they want to be this queen of pentacles here yet they're not doing what they're supposed to do when it comes to um investing in having that type of role here they see you putting in all this hard work, yet they're not really doing anything that they're supposed to do. So now I feel like you're going to be the person that's going to try to um, keep what you, keep your knowledge to yourself. You're going to withhold um, this Ace of Pentacles because you feel like this person is not really doing anything. I feel like they're constantly in contemplation mode and... Um, just kind of sitting still and um they just chilling while you're giving all this knowledge <laughs> i feel like you breaking this piece this person off with knowledge and shit like that and i feel like when they're actually hearing this knowledge they tell me oh they're they're engaging and stuff like that 
but and they're making it seem like they they they're gonna make a move, but they don't. They don't. Interesting. Okay, a couple more cards. Tell me what's coming to pile one for December first through the fourteenth. I just keep hearing Joe, I want to know, like, that's crazy. Yeah, Five of Cups. They're, con they're going to continue to be up in this energy no matter what, um, whatever it is that you, what information that you give them with the Ace of Wands and the, uh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like at this point, um, you're going to be wasting your breath, so... If you constantly feel like you've been telling this person and giving them the sauce and letting them know what to do and they ain't did it, um, continue to go about your business, okay? Because they're not going to go nowhere while you're out here stable. One more card. Because y'all are actually out here making your dreams come true. And you got people around you wanting to know how do you even gain the confidence and... Um, the energy to do so here and i feel like it's definitely people because i keep getting flies around me like you got people who really want to know this could be a group of people this could be people at work okay but yeah they're trying to figure out what is it that you're doing with their sneaky asses i feel like they're trying to take a sneaky approach for some of them but you know it is what it is. They're not gonna figure it out. While you got this, um, while you're, while you did give them the keys, people are still acting like they're in some type of illusion, or that's not how you did it, or whatever it is. When it's 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 the truth. You did what you're supposed to do. You wasn't necessarily causing the illusions, but they feel that way. I don't. I don't know. This is a. This was a weird reading. Um, to be honest, but you know what, Pot One, if this resonated in any type of way, please like, comment, and share. Um, <clears throat> I love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. Um, I love reading them, and as always, I will re reply back to you guys. Um, share this message with someone that you may feel need to hear this, and please help continue to get your girls to 500 subscribers. Um, we're almost halfway there so you know keep it up guys so i can give away that free reading well until next time i'll see you guys later bye if you chose pow two you are the kipper deck okay let's go ahead and see what's going on with pow two um from december 1st through the 14th okay i'm actually going to use this deck so let's start off with this one calling in all of my ancestors spirit guides angels and archangels offer my highest good and highest light please provide me with the most clearest and accurate messages when it comes to pile two and what's to come for december 1st through the 14th to Biggie right now. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. <laughs> All right. One more shuffle. Okay, Spirit, if you can let me in on what's going on with Pile 2 from the 1st through the 14th. Let me get a shuffle out. Jesus Christ. What's going on with Pile 2 between December 1st and the 14th? Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody about to find out what it is when it comes to fucking with you. <laughs> about to find out what it is. Hold 
okay. And I feel like this is going to make you feel better because, um, Pile two, you're giving off an energy where um, you're usually one to keep quiet and um, hold your tongue and hold back. And um, I don't want to say not, necess not necessarily don't stand up for yourself, but you're one to keep the peace. Okay. You don't like conflict. You don't like arguing. Um, you, you just... You feel like it's just best to keep quiet sometimes. Um, I feel like you're also one to uh, choose your battles very wisely. But I feel like it's going to come to a time um, in December between the 1st and the 14th where you're going to have to tell somebody what it is. Okay? Like, you won't have to let them know what's up. And I feel like it's going to make you feel so much better. <laughs> Like, you probably gonna cut somebody out and it's gonna make you feel so much better. You're like, damn, I've been holding that in for a minute. <laughs> How to? Y'all crazy. Yeah, see, somebody been getting on your motherfucking nerves with this Nine of Swords here. And you are now about to, you know what? It's given like, damn, I'm so fucking tired of this person. Like, I feel like you've been keeping your emotions, like, pent up. And you about to let somebody have it. Ooh, yeah, you about to let somebody have it, baby. Because somebody, somebody, whoo, somebody think you're the one to play with. And you're not. You're definitely not the one to play with. Somebody's been taking your kindness for weakness here, pal two. Yeah, they about to surely find out. You about to cut somebody out. <laughs> King of Wands, yeah. Mm-hmm. You about to go ahead and put that action towards this person, whoever this may be. Uh, I feel like this is somebody you have a lot of love for, too, but this... I mean, somebody be taking it too far. Look, I said, four of pentacles. You're done of, you're done holding shit back with the full card. You're done. Somebody is about to get this work. Somebody about to get this work, Jesus. Ooh. Well. I feel like you've had enough self-control. You tired of that shit. Yep, death card. With the moon, you've been you've been keeping this in long enough, okay? Somebody haven't been knowing how you've been feeling for a while, but you about to let this person know with the death card here. Mhm. Mm this is something you've been keeping to yourself, but you tired you're tired of walking away. You're tired of being a bigger person with this eight of cups in reverse. Now you about to be like, okay, bitch. <laughs> Um, you um, did stoop low now you about to take it to hell <laughs> y'all are crazy mountain. oh my god you're tired of avoiding what this person has been doing or saying or whatever it is you're done with that yeah I'm telling you it's going to make you feel so much better with the five of cups once you release and let go of whatever this is when it comes to this person, now this person ain't going to be too happy about it with this Ten of Cups in reverse, but you will. You will. You, you're you going to feel a lot better. They're not with this Ten of Cups in reverse. They're not. But you're done holding back with the Strength card in reverse here. So you're about to put it into whatever this may be, um, whatever this may be is. Um, this may have to do with it could actually be somebody at work too with this three of pentacles in reverse here this could be somebody that you don't like at work okay or this could be somebody that doesn't like you at work um you may get a lot of recognition and um praise for your work or whatever it is that you do here and somebody somebody a hater but you're not about to let um, any of that get you down here uh, somebody about to try you though somebody's gonna try you 
and you're gonna finally um, let them have it with this Queen of Swords here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is something you've been thinking about for a minute too, with the Hangman. Um, you've been thinking about this, or you, like I said, you've just been very complacent and you've just been chilling and um, uh, kind of allowing this person do do what it do. Bees may be significant in some way. Hello, B. Um, but yeah, you've been sweet enough. Now you about to come out with the stinger. <laughs> you about to sting the fuck out of somebody. Because apparently they deserve it at the moment. Okay, tell me what was coming to pile two between December 1st and the 14th. Yeah, you made up your mind. I feel like you made up your mind. You said the next time this person come at you sideways or try to do some bullshit or something like that, I'm going to give them what they want with the Six of Pentacles. I'm, I'm going to give them what they want. <laughs> mm. And it ain't going to be pretty. Well, interesting. <laughs> I feel like this person's gonna leave you alone after that with this five of pentacles. They gonna leave you alone. Yeah, the sun card. It's 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 <laughs> it's light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, once you cut this person out or give them whatever it is um, that they deserve, you're gonna feel a lot better, and the, and then the end result is them leaving you alone. So that's good. Yeah, I'm telling you, this got to do with something with words. Somebody about to let somebody have it. And I feel like it's you, pal, too. You're the one that's about to let somebody have it. And you're going to feel so fucking good about it. Okay? Wow. Okay, what else? And I feel like you're going to have people around you to my good job. Like, finally, you told this person what they needed to hear. Like, people are gonna are not going to be against you for this. They're going to be actually um, happy that you decided to finally speak up. The Seven of Swords. Because, yeah, somebody has been doing some bullshit around you. And then you got the Six of Wands. Yeah, I, people are going to be telling you. They're going to be, I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. You did the right thing. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, with the Queen of Swords back at the bottom of the deck. This definitely has to do with something at work. People you work with or something like that, okay? And I feel like this is something that you've been... Um, you have to make your boundaries real clear. Just know that for sure. I just hear, stop fucking with me. Because you don't know. <laughs> 10, 17 on the timer when I say that. Okay. Tell me more about what's coming towards pile 2 for December 1st through the 14th. Occupation. I can't make this shit up. This could be um, a male figure at your job or something like that. Somebody that's in a uh, um, your department or something like that it's definitely somebody you work with okay it, it can even be uh, I don't know if it's a boss a supervisor but it is somebody courtship in reverse like it is somebody that you don't even enjoy working with okay you're tired you're tired of the shit. Yeah, change. You're definitely about to make a change when it comes to this. Because somebody think they can do... Somebody think they're running shit here. I feel like this is a regular employee who think they a, supervi a supervisor or a boss of somebody. They think they official with a whistle, but they not. And they think they can run you or tell you what to do or something. Something. And you like, you know what, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm tired now. Okay, I'm tired of being tired. Now I'm about to let your ass know what's up. Yeah, you about to get look another gift card. Seventeen. You about to give them what they want. 
because somebody been begging for this. Somebody has been begging for, look, message of concern and give. Somebody's been begging for this. I'm now here per my last email. <laughs> Oh my God, uh, this is crazy pile two. I don't know why these messages is coming out, but here it is, okay? One more card. Pile two, your message is gonna be kind of short because I feel like it, um, it keeps repeating. see what this is all about I feel like um, whoever is ahead of the department or something like that or they could be actually the boss or the owners of this company or whatever it is that you do um, like a promotion is coming on or something like that somebody is about to get promoted to a boss position you could have got promoted to a boss position here what the fuck is that? sorry my phone was ringing i hope that still was real to hear me but somebody is getting promoted to like a boss position or something like that or a higher ranking in the company or something where you're going to get more money here and that could be what all the fuss is about here. Um, that could be that person hating on you or something like that. And you could be possibly um, telling this person off about this shit or something like that. I don't know. This message is low-key weird. Piled One's message was weird, too. I'm just telling y'all what comes out. Oh, shit. Damn. Hold it down. One second, y'all. One second. in poverty and reverse both of them are came out of reverse male female i kind of um i kind of feel like this is correlating with the the channel song i opened up for you guys if you don't know now you know i feel like whoever this is that is giving you all this bullshit here or whatever um I feel like somebody is treating you like you're their regular employee when you have some type of rank or some type of pool here. They don't know exactly who you are. So now they're about to find out. You have some type of status here. Okay, like seniority or something like that. You have some type of high power, some type of high position here. And somebody is about to find the fuck out the wrong way. Probably even lose their job. I'm hearing that song from this old ass Disney movie. My day with the president's daughter, yeah. My day with the... Somebody doesn't know that you're highly ranked or you're highly you're connected to somebody in a higher power and somebody is about to find out the wrong way why is journey here 
certain love. Yeah, somebody doesn't know that you're connected. Main female is out again. Yeah, somebody about to find out the wrong way. Okay. I mean, y'all was hyped up about that. This this bitch is regular, like. <laughs> somebody about to find out the wrong way. Somebody about to lose a job or something like that. I don't know. You got two house cards here. One came out in reverse, one came up upright. And then you have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck with the six of cups here. Somebody about to find out the wrong way. I just know that. Okay, somebody, somebody's just about to know that you're not the one to fuck with, okay? I'm coming, baby. I can close my door on him. But yeah, I don't know, pal, too. This is kind of weird, low-key, but I just seen the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. So, side by side. So, like, somebody got some power, and somebody don't know that they got some power because somebody has been low key with their power and now they about to realize they about to realize that this person with the power is nobody to fuck with and i feel like the person with the power is about to let this person know i don't know how that correlates with y'all or whatever it is but please let me know down in the comments because i'm very interested in knowing what's going on uh because that this is crazy right here but yeah, pal too. If this resonated anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. Um, share this message with somebody who may need to hear it. Um, please comment because I love to hear what you guys got to say and I will reply back to you guys. Um, continue to help your girl get to 500 subscribers so I can give away a free reading. We're almost halfway there. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.